everyone welcome back to my channel it's carol at recrafted boutique and today we're going to create a little bit of coastal fabric art so i need to thank susan taylor brown because she showed how to dye fabric with acrylic paint i will link the video where she did that um in my description box because it was a bit messy but really fun and look at all the different colors i went for the sort of blues and greens and i love all these edges as well so i've got all sorts of pieces sort of did some greens obviously i haven't ironed them yet because you know ironing who wants to do ironing look at this one it's just beautiful so i'm going to be using some of these in my little bit of up fabric art. I've had a little go before. Look how this turned out. Um, that's not a piece. <laughs> I love how this turned out. That is such a pretty colour. So what I'm going to do is sort of just rip up a few pieces to start with. Just so I've got some strips because that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to just get all the different colours like this and different different strips of them okay so i've got all my pieces and it is quite late at night because i've got back from work and i just wanted to do some sewing what i'm gonna do is i'm not worried about overlapping i've got a piece of felt which is approximately doo -doo -doo, or even exactly 19 centimeters by roughly 13 so um all i'm going to do is sew on some of these strips to this fabric now i'm not got a pattern basically going to do is just get these and sew them on like this in whichever way i pick them up As you can see, I have sewn down a row just to cover the felt. I have threads everywhere. <laughs> and I'm just deciding now what I'm going to put over the top. I'm going to leave some of the threads. I love, I like this bit of lace. It's like, it's neck curtain really, but we'll call it lace. I think that's quite pretty. I don't know how I'm going to sew it down. And I love this. This is part of a scarf that I might put on. Oh, I made this. I watched Susan Taylor Brown do one of these. Just ripped a hole and then sewed it open. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it on my page like this. But I'm going to put something behind it. Maybe, maybe some of this lace. I want just something different than the rest of... Do you think I'm, i think that might look quite cool it's going to be really scrappy um i've oh i've got this piece that jovi sent me maybe i could put that on i will use it or oh, that i feel like i want to stamp something in the center of that like like a boat or something and i think i've got some children's pirate ship <laughs> stamps i'm not sure i'm gonna have to go and have a look well that took a minute look i have this and i'm thinking if i stamp that in the center how cool would that look <laughs> it's not really cool it might look really rubbish but i think it's gonna look all right so i'm gonna have a go let's use this piece of paper i'll do a little bit of a a practice stamp. Oh, I'm going to get black everywhere. I don't even know how this comes out. I don't think I've even used it. You know, it's just one of them things I've picked up. That's a really cool, a really cool little stamp. I like it. So I'm going to do a stamp in the centre of this. Oh, I love winging it videos. Who loves my winging it videos? Let's just do something different, I thought. You know, like making a journal from um 
a COVID box. Okay, so all I've done is very quickly just sewn this little boat, <laughs> my really cute little pilot boat on. I just love the idea of having like a little peephole window that you can you can see something different through. I wanted a mermaid, but I haven't got any mermaid stamps. So, you know, you know me, use what I've got. And I knew I had a pirate ship. And I sort of quite like pirates. <laughs> I don't know why. Probably um, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> Johnny Depp is why. You know, let me put that in. I'm going to put just pun so I don't lose my shape. What do you think? I'm going to do a very quick stitch around the outside of that. As you can see, I have all my blues and greens together, which I do find quite useful when I'm sort of looking for a colour. Let's just do that one. Okay. So... We are going to put this bit, this raggedy bit, I love how rag how that is all just crinkled up. I'm going to put this along here, like that. I haven't planned this at all, apart from this little bit. This is, I knew I wanted that on. And I know I want this to cover that edge. But I just think that would look sort of super cool. Um, one more pin. And I don't think it's going to get light today. It's actually raining today. So that's, uh, this is probably as light as it's going to get today <laughs> in the UK. Okay, right, we're there. And I'm going to do, I'll probably have to come along the bottom. And then I might get a, a contrasting stick thread along the top so I'm just going to do these little stitches to catch these two together I'm not even going all the way through to the back I just want to put these two together whether it's right or wrong I do not know but you know I'm just gonna go with it I'm just having a bit of fun I love. I just. I just love sewing now. I love stitching. I love playing with the fabrics. Ow! I do love doing that. <laughs> Ow! Be careful. This is because I'm rushing, and I'm, I'm. I shouldn't be rushing. I should be relaxing. So what I might do is stop stressing, and I will get get this done at the weekend because tomorrow is Saturday and I have all day to play in my craft room. Right, oh, I'm getting things caught everywhere now. So I'm going to carry on with my little, my little stitches along here. And then I'm going to put something along this bit here. Oh, look at the threads on that. I love that side. So I'm going to put that along there and then maybe I've got another piece which I might do underneath or to the side. So I want it to look like, resemble like waves. Do you know what I mean? And I've got all sorts of little bits and things that I want to put on. This, you know, this is just all sticking up and it's really cool. But I'll just bring you along on my progress so far. As you can see, I've stitched down a few more bits. I've made like a, it looks now looks like an eye for some reason. Not quite sure what's going on with that. But you know, it's like my junk journals. It just, it just evolves. <laughs> I have no control. I just, just playing. And this is what happens. So I'm just doing this little bit of white. Um, it, I don't know what it is. It's like a sort of cheesecloth. But it's got a bit of embroidery on it, so I thought I would 
come along because there is something I want to ask you um, stitchers in particular. Since I've started stitching, I have had a pain in my elbow about here on that little joint. Now, is that a stitching injury? Is that like repetitive strain from stitching? Have I been doing too much? Do any of you know? Because I, I'd like to know. And if so, how how do you exercise it off? How do you get rid of it? Because it's really interfering <laughs> with my with my slow stitching. I'm going to turn this upside down. Yeah, I, I I'm in a bit of pain from it and um obviously i want to carry on stitching i mean do you rest your elbow because I, I i i don't know the best position now or is it because i'm struggling to pull the needle through sometimes so yeah advice please if anybody's got any in the um comments below or you know email me <laughs> I am, um, uh, yeah, it is quite painful. So I'm having to do just a little bit at a time. But I am still loving my slow stitching. And I want to get on with the, um, with the February page of Roxy's Journal of Stitchery as well. I've I've got my plan, so there'll be a video for that coming up at some point. But what I want to start doing on here now is sewing on some maybe sequins, or I'm thinking about putting like a a phrase or a word or something on here, or you know some sort of quote. I don't know. I just feel like I want to, so I think I'll finish that bit and then look at the back. It's quite neat for me. I'm quite impressed with how neat that is. I say all I've done is sort of gone across. I don't think I've gone through to the felt on some of it, but on other bits I have. So I'll finish that one off in a moment. Let me poke that in. Ah, oh, see, now that hurts. Can't pick anything up either. So... I'll finish sewing that on, but I've, I have somewhere in this pile of stuff got some sequins. Where have they gone? They've got to be here. There they are. So look at these. I found these at the scrap store and I thought they were perfect. So I was thinking I might just put some of these on. So I'm going to use this cotton that they've um, provided me. Because it is super thin. It's got covered in fluff. And I bet you I can't undo it without getting it in a knot. Ah! Oh, I've done it. Oh, it's so fine. I haven't. Have I got a smaller? I haven't got a smaller needle. So, okay, where are we going to do some little jewels? Where would be cool? Maybe, maybe along here. Or, or, or I could do them along this bit here that looks like a good place to do them where there's like little holes let's start there I don't know I'm just winging it guys like normal and I'm going to put on some of these little tiny oh they're not going to fit I just tested those they fit I may have to go and find a smaller needle I believe yeah okay Okay, I have found the tiniest needle ever. So hopefully, my beads will go down it. <laughs> we, we are hopeful. Yay. And what I thought, I'd just do a selection, maybe, of different beads. Not really looking what I'm doing. Maybe five at a time. See what happens. And then I'm going to just go back down just to tie those on and then come back up and do some more 
I'm thinking this might be how you do it. Not sure. Not, not an expert. But this is what seems like sensible to me. So I hope you can see okay. I am sideways, obviously, on this. Sorry. And I just think it might look quite pretty. Oops. <laughs> of course, you've got to catch them first. So that's that's part of the challenge, isn't it? <laughs> right. And do some more. Come on, don't get stuck. Oh. Well, if you don't go on this needle, I'm stuck because I do not have a smaller needle. <laughs> that's pretty much my smallest ever needle. So it will just have to um not go on. I've got I've got enough, I think. So I'm gonna do that. And see what this looks like. I love the colours. So there we and what I want to do as well is some more um stitches along there. I've got sort of vague idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Does help sometimes. Just go in with it, see what happens. I've already made one sort of like this, but this is a bit more a bit more involved than my first one. I think that's looking quite quite sweet. I'm quite liking that. I think I need to come up a bit closer to that last one. Right there. Because I've got a little bit of a gap, but I don't think it's a big disaster. And then I'm going to put some sequins on as well. Once I've got this little row. So I may speed this bit up very quickly and... So you don't have to look me, see me hunt for beads that might fit down my needle. I'm just going to go along. Just sort of push them up and then go down. So I'm going to carry on along there. And I'll either speed it up or I will just cut and go to the next bit. Because, you know, you've seen me. You've seen how I do it. You've probably got a better way. Please do not take, you know, do not take what I say as as how you do it. Just play with it and have a go yourself at doing, you know, whatever it is you want to do. I'm just showing you how I, that what I'm doing really. It's like a craft along, not a tutorial at all. And that one doesn't fit put that over there oh, I don't think that one will fit that one's teeny tiny as I say you know I've got these all my fabrics and my beads have all come from a sort of from from my scrap store or I've picked them up at the car boot or the charity shops I don't tend to find a lot in the chariot shops in the UK at the moment I think, uh, hoping that soon our car boots will be open again, which is always like one of the highlights of my year, being able to go to the car boot. There we go. I don't know. I think it needs more. I think I need more. I might do another row there. Or should we put some sequins there? Let's up here I've no idea how to sew sequins on so this is going to be this is going to be interesting I think if I come up through the center and then go down over the edge and then try and find the edge of the other one or even up the center whichever comes first and then back down. That should keep it on. Know where that come from? Yeah. Do we need to tie a little knot so it doesn't come off? 
maybe. I'll do some random sequins on here now. That one came up in the middle. I'm going with it. If it comes up in the middle, I'm staying there. And then I'm just going to go down like opposite where my other thread came up. And just do a very quick little knot behind just to keep it on. I don't, I don't really want them falling off. Hmm. Wow. This is time consuming, isn't it? <laughs> Pretty relaxing though. Pretty relaxing. I think I might go and get myself a cup of tea and do this. Sunday afternoon. You can have a little bit of a sewing session and a cup of tea on a Sunday afternoon. Nobody's going to have a go at you. I don't know why I feel the need to make a knot. I don't know, maybe because I think they might fall off. I don't know. Is that the right thing to do? <sighs> don't know. Don't know, guys. Somebody tell me. Am I doing the right thing? I think they look quite pretty. There's a nice dark one there. Let's put that one on. So again, I'm going to just finish popping these on here. Oopsie. Turn over. I haven't finished yet. Stay there. <laughs> They're very fiddly. I don't really want you on top of each other. That's better. So I'm going to carry on. Popping those on in that little section there. And then I might do another row of these. I'll see what it looks like. And um, I'll be back to show you a bit more of my progress. You're joining me as I am making bullion. Bullion knots. Bullion knots. I'm sure that's how you pronounce it. And I'm using this variegated like wool. I'm sure it's got a technical name. And all I'm doing is just making a few in this corner because, well, because I wanted to, <laughs> basically. I'm practising my stitches and I'm basically just, just going to do it with you guys for a bit. So I've learned to keep this bit quite short, otherwise it gets stuck when you're pulling it through. I'm doing that the wrong way. There is a there's a way to do this that's easier than the other. And it's sort of trial and error, I think. I've done about 12. And then I just pull it through gently. And then wiggle it down. Just, just wiggle it. The first one I did was really loose. But I'm getting better as I am doing it. So there you go. Practice makes perfect. Well, <laughs> or practice makes, you know, okay. So I want to try sort of going over the top of one. Is that a bit amb ambitious? <laughs> Probably. But I thought I'd have a go. And I thought, I just I just want to see if I can. And I'm going to come go over the top of this one. Now, this may not work. We may completely mess this up. I know it needs to be longer than normal. Move that out of the way. Because it's got to go over the top. That's quite long. 
I reckon that should do it. So again, I'm just going to pull it through. I hope you can see okay. No, because I'm right at the top of my screen. I do apologise. As you can see, I've got lots of th thread, I'm going to call it, on there. Pulling it through. And then I'm going to just tease it down. And I'm going to go over the top of that one, like that. And back down in that hole. Right, I'm going to do it again because I believe I was out of, out of frame there. So... I'm going to come up here, let me double check where I am, try and zoom in a little bit more, right, okay, so we're going to come up here, and then we're going to, I've come up the wrong place now, okay, right, so we're going to go we're only going to overlap that by a tiny bit. We're going to go in here. And we're going to come up back up near to our first one. And I'm almost out of wool, so we'll see how I go. Right, I've done like 15. That's going to be massive, isn't it? Okay, so gently, gently pull that through. And then pull it back over your stitch there. And then I'm just going to go down. And it makes it like a little pile of, I don't know, I don't know what it's a pile of. But I like it. I like to practice these new stitches, and I I love them bullion knots. So I'm going to do a little a little bundle of them down here. I think I can get one more in this in this little group. Um, it's not going to be very big. I'm not going to overlap it. I'm just going to do that. Because there isn't there isn't a lot of of the thread left. I'm gonna pull it quite near the end. See how much I can get in. That will, that will do. I don't think I can get much more. Just gently pull it through. Woo! Nearly lost the end of my cotton thread, wool, whatever it is. I'm going to go back down. Yeah. I think I've finally got the hang of them. That first one. Look at that first one. So loose. I'm going to leave it because, you know, it's all part of the learning curve. So there we go. that away so there we are that is where we're up to so far okay so what we're going to do next I'm sort of thinking of something in this bit down here I mean I quite like quite like it I just think it needs I don't, it's too dark. It's too much the same. This is just a bit of scarf. <laughs> I'll use anything. I wonder if that... I'll tuck that under a little bit. What do you think? Should we, should we do that? Well, that looks quite cool. Maybe I'll have that bit over. Okay. We'll do that and whoops, stand up. I've got so much on there. Um, I think little seed stitches, maybe. I'm going to start here in the middle just to get this down, and then I'll come back. So I'm just going to do little seed stitches all over. This is going to take a while, isn't it? As well. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm doing all the time consuming stitches. So again, what I'll do is I'll do this off camera because, you know, this <laughs> There's not going to be much to watch and I don't want to make this video like loads long but I want to finish it all in one video if you see what I mean because I know a series gets a bit you know people lose interest after a while so I thought if I could get it all done in one video that would be better let me know what you think is that better for you just the whole thing in one video but like little clips of how I'm getting on I think that's how I would like to watch. So I'm just presuming that that is, that is the same for most people. Now we're all sort of, you know, back at work, got not enough time on our hands to do everything we want to do. So I'm going to continue that. I'm going to sew that on like that uh, without obviously tangling myself up because I'm not concentrating. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> did I did I go completely wrong no I just looped it there we go so I'm going to do little seed stitches all over here that's going to go up here somewhere like that or maybe down there I don't know don't know yet wherever it ends up okay guys I decided to finish this video with just a few close-ups as it was getting super long and I, I love it. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that about my own art? I do love it. Um, if you've enjoyed it, please give me a like, a thumbs up. That would be amazing. And it does help my video to spread out. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye.